So, which would you prefer? We in Dragon Ball Fighters uh, season three right now, but you know there's been some whisperings of Dragon Ball Fighters two if they're gonna make it. Uh, and actually, we said in a previous show that Dragon Ball Fighters could be one of the games that you would just keep it like that and just keep updating it. But which would you guys prefer? Would you prefer Dragon Ball <laughs> Fighter season four? And if you do prefer that, which characters would you want to see come to the game, or do you just think they should just go ahead and make Dragon Ball Fighters two? And what changes, if you pick that choice, would you like to see in the game uh, different from this one that we have now? So, starting with you, Mr. Game and Lift, what's your take? Um, Dragon Ball Fighters is is interesting to me. Um, I like the, I like the stuff they're doing with the characters. Super excited for Baby and uh, Super Saiyan Four Goku. But I, I I think me personally, I would like to see a Dragon Ball Fighters too. And the reason why I say this, I would like for them to kind of like start over in a sense and just to see how this will work. Uh, so one, you would get rid of the thirty thousand Gokus that we have in the game, um, and two, maybe you add like a transformation system. I don't know. I just feel like I would like to see this game with like a, a install type thing. Because I mean, a lot of other traditional fighting games have it where if you have a character that can transform, they can do it mid match. I think that would kind of maybe make for like more interesting fights. Um, like give Kid Goku Super Saiyan four install or something like that. Like I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of salty when I saw that that was only part of his level three i'm like really you just gonna make super saiyan 4 part of his cinematic like i was like oh man if they can have it like where he gets like maybe spend seven meters or something like that like kind of golden freeze seven meters and he goes to super saiyan 4 or something like that that would be dope so i, I think i would like to see a dragon ball fighters 2 and just kind of add some different mechanics uh transforming um oob can, can we get oob please can we stop overlooking yeah. uh oob please <laughs> Um, honestly, I feel like with them adding Baby and Gogeta, I feel like just the next person that will make sense is Oob. Oob and Shinron will be the next two characters that make sense to put in the game. Everybody wants to see Omega Shinron. I, I do too, but at, I was like, if I get Baby or Gogeta, I'm cool. Um, but Omega Shinron would definitely be cool. But yeah, give me a Dragon Ball Fighters 2 with transforming. Um, I'm trying to think of like some other mechanic that I would like for the game to add. I'm still not really, I'm not a fan of auto combos. Um, just the way it's, I, I feel like they need to maybe change it where they don't come out on whiff. Maybe some people disagree with that. I just, when I first started playing the game, I'm like, wow, like you do a whole auto combo stream. It's come out on whiff and they have like vacuum properties, cross up pro auto correct properties, like Vegito's. So with the second, the last part of his auto combo is like, he can be facing the opposite direction and just like still grab you. It's like, okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, but I, I, I feel like it's okay the way it is now just to add some characters, but I think they could also benefit from just like doing the second one and adding some different stuff to it to make it a little fresh. Um, yeah, I think they could definitely add some more stuff to the game to make it more fr uh, fresh. That is definitely a thing. But I mean, at the same time, they could pretty much do all of that right now on the on the version that they have. You know, uh, I mean, they people patch in, patch out um, mechanics all the time. And uh, this, um, like, uh, like I've referred to this before, like League of Legends basically just changed up like their whole, um, not going to say their whole infrastructure, but they changed up a lot of stuff in like the most recent like um, version of the game. And uh, I mean, a lot of, and it's very polarizing. Like when that happens, like it's really polarizing because people are kind of like, uh, I don't, like there's some people who like it, some people who don't like it. Um, I mean, but it's almost for all, for all intents and purposes, it's almost like it's a new game. And it, it still has the exact same name. It's still League of Legends, but they just added more stuff. They just changed the stuff around. Same with like Rainbow Six Siege. You know, they just add more stuff. They just um, like they will go in and they will change the stages. Like some of the stages aren't the same as they were before. They've completely like they've moved hallways, like they've added windows, taken windows out and stuff like that's that's the kind of stuff that we that's the kind of power that we have right now so you don't necessarily need to make a new game you just take the game you have and just fix it um you know uh definitely would like to see oob um uh i don't i would say the shenron like when we talk like when you say shenron are you what, what shenron are you talking about devin omega shenron you're talking, about you're talking omega shenron okay yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I, what what I'm just saying, like, there's also Nova Shenron, right? Like, I mean, I would like to see Nova Shenron in the game. I think we've yeah, already we can put in there. 
Perunga. Yeah, we've had put Perunga, this guy. Yeah, let's put Perunga. Might as well put normal Shenron in there too. Um, how many Shenrons were there in the show? Like, we're, there's one for every Dragon Ball, right? It was like the one that was like, oh, that ate a whole bunch and then kind of took over Pan's body. I'm I'm way off topic. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, man. I think um, you know, I think the Dragon Ball season. Uh, what what's the next season we're talking about? Season four. Um, yeah, like Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Fighters season four. I think would be pretty cool because technically speaking, if they really wanted to, this could be like a whole new game. Like it could be almost a completely completely new game. But I mean, it, it all depends on. You know, then you then it comes down to like you know them patching it, and then how much space you got on your uh, console, and then when you buy like an old version of the game, you know, you if you want to play online, you got to update to like Dragon Ball Season Four, you know, to be uh, up current with everybody. But I think that would be pretty cool, you know, just to keep uh, stick with the game you have, and then just like move forward um, with like um, like adding new stuff, you know, game mechanics and stuff through patching. Yeah, I think I think the game is also just made for that, like straight up. Like, uh, I I kind of agree with y'all. It should be Dragon Ball Fighter season four. No no bias from playing the game, but like uh, anything, most things that people want to add, they could just add if they want. Like they've added a bunch of stuff. They made a bunch of changes already that normally um, they would add a new game. We're kind of past the time where we actually need to just make new games like uh, I, I talked about this before but like uh you know in the past we didn't have patching so the whole reason why these like super ultimate double turbo level 3.5 tournament edition stuff exists is because the only way they could add stuff is by making new games so um now we're at a point where they don't have like it's not necessary we can do patches online and update the games that way and continue to add new content both uh the type of content we care about so like new characters uh, new mechanics, stuff like that, and the type of mechanics that more casual players uh, care about. So, like in Dragon Ball's case, they're raid bosses. Like, they, I did not know this. <laughs> they're raid bosses in Dragon Ball. There's like a story mode where you can like level. There's like all, there's like a attack rush. There's like all this one player content that most people don't know about. So, I don't know if if the only reason to make a Dragon Ball Fighters two would be uh, new character models for everybody. Yeah. basically and you you have to you would it i think that's pretty hard to, to justify unless you're going to do like straight up new characters like, like new character models not new characters like you and making the game look different there's not really a good reason to justify a dragon ball fighters 2 right now like if, if all people want are new characters people still asking for stages they didn't do that like a lot of the stuff that people want they can do it in the scope of current dragon ball fighters even things like like more balance changes, different additional mechanics. They can all do it in the scope of the current game. Uh, and they've shown that they could do it already because they've added a bunch of stuff since the game has come out. And they've changed a lot of things about how the game fundamentally works since the game has come out. 